71 was our high today. Beautiful afternoon, just below average high, but our morning low was 46 and it's some 30s on the North Shore as we got the day started. We're not going to be that cold tomorrow morning and gradually warming over the next couple of days before another brief and not nearly as extreme cool down as we head into the mid part of the week and also for the weekend ahead. Gorgeous outside right now. Beautiful start to the week. Hard to believe we've got severe weather on the way for overnight tonight or at least a, a potential for severe weather. 69 degrees our current temperature winds started to pick up out of the east southeast at 14 miles an hour 60s to low 70s outside at the moment and the clouds have been steadily increasing a bit over the area especially out to our west and a disturbance is setting up out over texas that is going to bring in the chance for storms overnight because we have been quiet all day today. Really the only rain nearby is out across South Central Southwest Louisiana and the storms that we are expecting overnight tonight have not yet developed, which normally would kind of cause some issues with the computer models in terms of timing, but the models have been in good agreement. We're not going to see anything through the rest of this evening or tonight. Overnight is when we'll start to see some of these storms developing after two, beginning to get a little bit closer with a lot of the activity after four to five a.m. There was a lot of folks are waking up six to seven a.m. We will still have some ongoing storms. It looks like by uh, toward eight to nine, most of the storms will be wrapping up. May still have a little bit of lingering rainfall at around nine thirty to ten a.m. But for the most part, by the midday afternoon hours, we will be clearing out. But on the back side of this low, we may see a few thunderstorms kind of rumble through the Florida parishes later on tomorrow night. So bulk of our rain will be during the early, early morning hours and the greater risk as this system is setting up for a severe weather is going to be over in Texas. For us, it is a low end risk, a one of five, an isolated strong storm or severe storm will be about all we would see during the night. But again, with it overnight, you need to get away to get those alerts. So the WWL uh, TV app will allow for that to happen. And then we're fairly quiet once the storms leave through St. Patrick's Day and then some more storms are on the way early Friday with another front and temperatures on St. Patrick's Day will be a little warmer, probably topping out in the mid, maybe some upper 70s, but not bad. Humidity staying on the lower side, uh, starting to feel it coming back up and turning breezy during the afternoon and evening. But right now, St. Patrick's Day appears to be dry. This is causing our uh, severe weather threat during the overnight period, a developing upper low, which as it moves our way will bring in that chance for a few strong to severe storms. This upper low moves off to the east and quiet over the next several days. Then we approach toward the end of the week. Friday, another upper disturbance. This one's staying farther to our north, so probably won't see anything severe with it, but another front will be moving through. Quiet weekend, and then it looks like another upper disturbance on the horizon as we head toward early next week. At the moment, no activity developing, but a new severe thunderstorm watch box has been issued for parts of east and northeast Texas. We'll have to see if we have the widespread severe threat that would warrant a watch. Right now, it doesn't look like that would be the case, mainly some isolated stronger storms. We get into the warm air sector. This will help to fuel those storms rolling through overnight tonight. And then again, on the back side of this low may have a few passing storms on the North Shore Florida parishes by later tomorrow. But then the rest of the day, Tuesday night into Wednesday, we have beautiful weather on the way with high pressure building in and then very nice again right through St. Patrick's Day. Then by Friday, mainly morning and midday, another system brings in a chance for some thunderstorms. But then this weekend looking gorgeous with highs upper 60s and low 70s and a quick warm up early next week. All right.